Uh, so I'm going to show a dual energy acquisition on the ImageView console. Uh, so we'll create a simulated acquisition here. Um, and what we do is we acquire uh, two images, a low energy and a high energy shot. Um, and we use differential filtration. Uh, so the difference there with differential filtration is that we use two filters that where the two images are acquired in rapid succession. And the benefit of differential filtration is that it provides us with a, uh, either a better image quality uh, versus fixed filtration, or it provides us a lower dose uh, at the same image quality versus fixed filtration. Uh, so basically a dual energy acquisition is about a similar entrance dose to that of a PHS X-ray. So once we've acquired the low energy and high energy shots, uh, we will subtract those images to create a bone and a soft tissue image, as well as a composite. So on the left-hand side here, you can see the composite at the top, the low energy shot that was acquired, the high energy, and then also the bone and the soft tissue. As far as some of the ability to manipulate these images at the console, uh, the soft image here, you can adjust the bone transparency by the slider over here on the basic tab uh, for the bone image. Uh, if you go to the advanced tab, you have the ability to change between black bone and white bone. Um, as far as any kind of configuration settings, uh, they're all done at the view settings level uh, prior to the acquisition. Uh, so from the acquisition side perspective, it's basically just the technologist or radiographer acquiring uh, a single x-ray like they would do today, except we automatically acquire the two, the two shots. So if we look at the system settings, uh, some of the settings that they can make. If I go over here to the, uh, the view properties, and I select a, uh, an AP dual energy view here, you notice that some of the settings that uh, the acquisition can be configured with would be uh, what, what images get delivered. So we automatically deliver the uh, soft tissue, the bone, and the composite, and then the uh, site has the selection through configuration to choose to deliver the low energy and or the high energy exposures as well. Uh, they can also specify with the companion views whether or not the, uh, the bone image is a black bone or white bone, and then whether or not motion correction is enabled as well or disabled. Uh, the reason why we have motion correction is if there's any kind of cardiac motion or slight patient motion, we can correct for that by having the motion correction enabled. But the switching time uh, of the two filters is rather small, uh, so most of the time motion correction would not be required. And then certainly if they wanted to make some adjustments to the soft tissue image, uh, as far as uh, what type of uh, bone transparency is applied, they can do so. But typically the default settings are used. So that's an overview of dual energy from the uh, image view console.